Uh, it was a great fight. <clears throat> I told the guys afterwards, I'm, I'm proud of every single one of them and how hard they fought that game. Um, we just couldn't overcome some of the mistakes we had, um, but I'm proud of the way we came after it and didn't blink, uh, depending on what we, mistakes we made. Was there a point in the game where you felt that you were kind of starting to tilt to TCU's favor? Uh, obviously, the momentum shifted a little bit, but um, a unique thing that I've seen since I, came to K since I came to K-State is there's never a time in the game where we're out of the game. Even at the very end of the game, we had a two-minute drill. We thought we were going to go down and win this game. And so uh, I'm proud of the way they fought again. I'll keep saying that through the rest of this interview because I'm, I'm, I'm proud of every guy in that locker room. Um, but no, there's never a time in the game where we think we're out. Um, I mean, it was a great throw by Will Howard. Um, put it up for me. Let me have, uh, make a chance to make a play, and I'm blessed enough to make it. Oh, a ton of confidence. I mean, I told the guys. Um, Jake, Adrian, and Will after the game that, that we respect and love every single one of those guys. And no matter who's at the helm, we trust them. And we've seen the work they put in the offseason and practice every single week, and that leads to games. I'm, I'm proud of the way they played, and I'm proud of the way they fought through adversity today. It does. Um, injuries or not, it gave us confidence. TCU's a very, very good team. You saw that. They were ranked eighth in the country today. Um, and they're the best team we played so far. And we hung with them and, and had them there and, and had a chance to win this football game. So injuries or not, um, we should have came out of here with a win if we dug down to the details and didn't make those mistakes we made. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the way this team fought. I think it's just confidence. Uh, I mean, you saw when the other guys came in, we didn't shy away from the passing game. You know, Jake came in and he threw a pass, and Will came in and he threw deep passes. And so uh, we believe in all those guys, and, and we're practicing harder to try to get those deep passing games going. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I have to go back and watch the film. Um, obviously, we fought through some adversity there. Uh, they got the momentum quick. Um, but I think it comes down to details. I don't think we, we did our jobs as well as we could have, you know. And so it, it, you see zero points in the scoreboard, but I guarantee there's points we left on there uh, by mistakes we had. Not even just the big ones that you guys all saw, but either it's checking the ID wrong, running the wrong route, doing something that we could have fixed. And so uh, it all comes back on us. Um, TCU, they played a great game. They're a really good team, um, but it comes down to us. Um, I mean, I'm sure it does. Um, you got to ask CK about that. Um, but in terms of running the ball, we trust both of them. And in terms of throwing the ball, we trust both of them. You know? And so uh, maybe the game plan does shift a little bit. Um, but in terms of the abilities that they have and, and what they can do on the football field, there's not much difference. Yeah, I didn't really notice it, honestly, um, until someone brought it up to me. And, and and I'm just praying for all those guys that got hurt to get back healthy. Uh, we're going to need them down the stretch. We're going to need them next week for sure. Um, but it, it always hurts, you know. Um, but like I told the guys, it's next man up mentality. Um, whether it's whoever it is, a quarterback next week, we'll roll. You know, whoever's hurt next week at Mike, we'll roll. You know, and so we trust every guy in that locker room to make the plays uh, that they're going to make this next coming weeks. Thank you all. God bless. Go Cats.